it's Melissa. In this video, we are going to talk about what I consider to be the best, the most underrated uh, design software when you are using a laser cutter, specifically an X tool, although this would also work if you have a Glowforge. So whether you have uh, the X tool M1 or like I do also the P2, the S1, the F1, the D, all of those, you can use Silhouette Studio, which is not only free to download, but in order to unlock all of the features, it's a one-time $50 payment. One time, not one time per month, not one time per uh, year, one time. And it will allow you to not only design, it will allow you to import, it will allow you to export, it will allow you to vectorize and trace, create cut lines, all kinds of things that you are not able to do in Xtools creative space. So you will be able to do all of your designing in Silhouette Studio and then export directly into to creative space to give you tons of uh, creative freedom. So whether you are trying to design or whether you're trying to set certain lines to cut while others to score and others to engrave, you'll be able to do all of that in Silhouette Studio. So let me show you exactly how this works. Okay, so Creative Space comes free with your X tool and it is the software that will allow you to send to your laser to cut. And while it has some decent features, um, it is still kind of limiting. Okay, so let's just take an example here um, of, this is a set of SVG, this is an SVG set of Christmas tags um, that I got from So Fancy, and I'm gonna show you that in a minute. But um, the reason why I actually like to use Silhouette Studio and get all of my designs prepared in there is because it's a lot less, um, it's a lot more flexible. So let's just say in Creative Space here that I wanted to uh, laser cut one of these tags and I want like the deer here to be engraved and I want the little snowflakes to be cut. Well, you're not able to do that because you can't ungroup or release a compound path for your design. So essentially you're, you're set here on the entire thing being one process. So while you could put an outline around it um, and then you know tell it that you want the rest to engrave, the problem is, or the rest to score, the problem is that you don't have the flexibility to really change around. Now, let's me, let me show you then why I like Silhouette Studio. So first things first, Silhouette Studio is a free software that anyone can use and download. You do not have to have a Silhouette cutting machine. However, if you wanna unlock all of the features, including the ability to export as an SVG, which you will need if you're gonna use with your laser, and not just an X tool, this would go for a Glowforge or whatever you're using, um, you need to have Business Edition, which is a one-time uh, paid upgrade of about $50. Not one time per year, not one time per one month, one time per lifetime. So I'm gonna, I have another video on how to do that. So once you get that, then you'll be able to import your SVGs. Now, what you'll see here is that just like in Creative Space, um, while we have the ability to ungroup each individual tag, um, once I get to the tag level, then I still can't ungroup. However, Silhouette Studio has another option and that is called releasing the compound path. Now a path is just a line around a shape. So right now what we have um, is this tag, and I'm showing you right on the border here, because this is all a compound path, meaning the all of the layers have been compounded into one. So think of it like a donut with a hole in the middle. If I release the compound path by right clicking, what's gonna happen is, and I'm gonna change the uh, color of that so you can see, What's gonna happen is I now have basically a stack of pancakes. I have the ability now to, to select the individual items in my um, shape. And so let's just say, for example, that I want to score, cut, and engrave on these tags. Well, watch what happens here. I'm gonna ungroup, I'm gonna release a compound path in all of them at the same time by selecting all of them, and I will release compound path don't fret when everything goes black. It's because, the, like I said, now you've got a stack of black pancakes, but let's just put a border around them. I'm gonna change it to white, a white edge, and now you can see. So let's say we want these tags to be laser cut on white, or a laser cut on wood. So you don't have to do this step. This is an extra step, but it's really going to show you what your designs are gonna look like. I'm gonna select all of them, then I'm gonna go up here to the fill color panel. 
okay? I'm gonna move this panel so it's a little easier to see. So this first panel here is just solid colors, okay? Which is great, it'll allow you to visualize. But if you go to this one right here, it's patterns. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna show you, um, this is a default pattern, this is called butcher block, but let's say you're cutting on uh, pine wood. Now you're getting closer to having what your actual tag is gonna look like. So now let's say, you know what, I want all of these little dots here to uh, be scored, okay? So they're not gonna be filled in. So I'm gonna change that to transparent and then I'm gonna change the line color to something like a brown because you know it'll be close to um, a dark brown when it when it um, when it scores. Okay, actually change. Okay, like that. Now let's say we want the holly and the berries to engrave. Okay, so I'll fill them with that darker brown and I'm gonna change, I don't have to, you don't have to do this, but again, you didn't have to do any of this, but this is me showing you how you are now able to manipulate what you want done. So this is a, an easy way to create mock-ups for your designs. Okay, so from here, I'm actually gonna take this back into Silhouette Studio. Also, let's say we didn't want these dots. Let's say we wanted um, snowflakes on here. I can remove these circles just gonna select them and then click delete on my computer and let's say i want one of these snowflakes i'll copy and paste that i'm using keyboard shortcuts to do this i'm going to move this over here okay and then i'm going to make one more of them i'm going to make it whoops i'm going to make it um put it over here make it a little smaller and then let's say i want to add one of these snowflakes same thing make a little change the size a little bit Okay, put that up here, maybe make it a little bit bigger, rotate it. Okay, so I've got everything here. Now you saw I changed a couple one way, I changed a couple the other way um, with fills, with uh, deleting. Okay, I'm gonna tell you, it's all going to come into Creative Space looking exactly the same, except you will be able to select different pieces here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select my entire thing Okay, and I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna go File, Save Selection. That means it's only gonna save what is selected. So if I only wanted to, if I only wanted this one to come into Creative Space, I could I could go File, Save Selection, and it will only save that one tag. But I want to do all of them. Okay, so I'm gonna do File, Save Selection, Save to Hard Drive, and I'm gonna save it as an SVG file. I'm gonna call this uh, wood tags, wood gift tags. All right, you can see I have a laser file here, okay? Now, I'm gonna open up Creative Space again and I'm gonna go to File, Import, Image, Wood Tags. Okay, now, I told you it's gonna come in all the same. You can see it doesn't have all of my uh, colors and stuff, but that's okay because what I have now is, let's say I wanna cut this I'm gonna tell it what I wanna cut. I wanna cut the edge. I want to score the snowman. And I want to engrave the snowflakes, okay? So you can do this for all of them. You can, and you can select them all, you know, you can select multiple things at the same time. But the point in all of this is you have much, much more flexibility when you do this in Silhouette Studio and then import into Creative Space. Now, once you get everything the way that you want it, then what you can do is you can save. So let's just, okay, let's change this to say wood. We're gonna do this on pine, okay? I don't have an, a piece of wood in my machine right now, so that's why I'm not seeing it. But what I can do is I've already set it to pine. I'm gonna select on there, it's reference meaning it's referring to the material that I already selected. And now what I can do, I can say file save as, and this will save my, my wood tags as the creative space file. So now I still have the original file here. I have in my laser folder, I have the studio or the SVG file 
and I have the creative space file so when I go to open it it will reopen back up with all of the processing types and the material that I already use so that is why I really highly suggest using Silhouette Studio you have a lot more flexibility if you're looking for design um, tutorials on how to use Silhouette Studio I have tons of them on Silhouette School blog as well as on my YouTube channel um, you can also check out Silhouette U which is my um, um, premium subscription website that I offer one-on-one -on -one help and exclusive videos um, and a lot of other benefits to our members so um, I love using Silhouette Studio I use it for all of my printers cutters lasers um, and it's it's I think the most underrated software especially at the price that it is that's available